When working with upright pianos, we want them to sound the best they possibly can. Now, they might not sound as good as a grand piano, might not play as well, but if we bring them to their optimal condition, and that means voicing, regulating, and a fine tuning, then we can have an instrument that will play very well for years and years. And remember, this isn't a technique for spinets or ratty pianos, it's for good pianos. And even the old ones, if you bring them up, file the hammers properly, mate or fit the hammers to the strings, you're going to get a much better sounding instrument. Voicing a vertical piano is probably something most people don't do, but you're going to prep the strings and do as much of the prepping in the bridge as you can. Of course, where the key bed is, it's going to be hard to get to that. But here's a very simple way. What I do is I press on the sustain pedal, then I carefully press the hammer. I'm pressing against the shape, but I'm pressing the hammer against the strings, and I'm going to... The right string and the center string are open, but the left string is thumping. So what I'm going to do, I've still got my pedal depressed. I'm going to put this sandpaper, and this is about 150 grit or so. I'm going to press it against there, and I'm going to pull it back. What I'm doing is actually taking some off where it's pressing, which is on the left string. It's kind of a whiny sound, just like any unmated string would be. And I'm going to do it again. I'm pressing a little bit of pressure, so, and you can actually tilt or push it a little bit to the left, so that left string is really being pressed against the uh, hammer and the sandpaper. There, it's almost a little bit more. Try not to flatten the hammer. If the hammer's really flat, you need to shape them anyway. Okay, let's try that. There. And it's going to sound better. So I'm going to go through and do that. As you're doing this, pull the sandpaper towards you and not straight up because you don't want to flatten the hammer. This will make it rounder instead of flatter. Besides some obvious damper misalignments, the hammers are not square. So try to get your hammers filed properly so that they made up well to the strings. You can see by the grooves on these hammers that they're not aligned correctly to the strings and they're a bit too much to just do this technique. They really need to be fully shaped. Here I've got one hammer extended out and that's the one I pulled over and it's actually a little rounder than the one next to it with the next arrow that shows a hammer that I haven't addressed yet with a sandpaper. So the rounder it is, the better it is for the strings. This is a hammer I'm getting ready to file. Notice that it's not very flat and square, and it's actually angled a tiny bit, so we need to fix that. In this picture, it's the same hammer that I rounded off a little bit with the sandpaper, and it's made it to the strings much better. Take a few minutes and do the upper treble, but remember, pull it towards you, and if the hammers are too flat, don't do this technique, but it's a wonderful improvement to the tone of the piano in the upper treble.